Okay, so this will be a training for your Big Teams website. Um, when you first open up your Big Teams website, um, this is what it will look like. So this will be the front page that all of your fans and parents will see. In order to log into your website, you can log in in two places. You can click Login in the upper right hand corner. You can also hit Administrator Login in the left corner as well. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then once you log in, it's going to take you to your website administration console. Um, you will see the name of your school up at the top here. So what I will go over first, um, these four buttons over here are just um, quick links. So edit homepage is just a quick link to edit the picture on the slideshow of the homepage. Announcements, this is just a quick way to add an announcement to your homepage. Update scores. Um, if you have recent games that have occurred, this is just a quick way to review all of those games and then enter scores for them as well. Um, manage video. If you are planning on putting videos on your big team site, um, this is just a quick way to get there and so you can add videos. So going back to your website, um, if you click on general website on the left hand side, um, it's going to take you to where you can um, control all of the settings for the site. Home page. So again, um, that quick link up here, this is just what I went to. This is where you can add that new slideshow photo. So all you'd have to do is click add new photo, choose file and then pick a photo from your computer. Front page display. Um, so this is where you can kind of control what is on your front page. If you've posted photos or announcements that you no longer want showing on the front page, you can simply hit no for all of these. Go down to the bottom and hit update, and then it'll update and take all of those off. Fields and directions. So if you have parents who actually want a list of, you know, fields and or directions, um, you're welcome to put in this information here. Um, you can just click add fields and directions. And then you can um, list all of your schools, all the opponents that you play, any fields or, you know, directions to venues that you guys normally play at. Play at. Hit submit at the bottom and then it will create a list for them. Announcements and events. So as an athletic director, you have the ability to post announcements. Um, so if you want to post an announcement, just click Add Announcements. You can either submit a general announcement or an event. I'm just going to stick with a general announcement. Hit Submit. You can say something like the field one is closed today baseball practice canceled. And then just copy that into the body as well. Then you could put something that says, please contact the AD for further information. You can also add a photo. Um, you can also display the author's name. Make sure that you hit yes to show on front page. And you can also email this as a notice to all groups. And you can also send an SMS blast as well. So I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to scroll down to find my announcement. And I'm going to go ahead and make that number one and click reorder. Then I'm going to click view fan site. And then you'll see that my announcement has been posted right here. So you can click on it and it'll take you to that announcement that I just posted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to my general website console. So I'll click on admin login again, general website. 
um, files and links if you guys have any, you know, physical information or any sport registration information that you guys need to put files in for. Um, this is where you can put all of that information. If you guys have links to any outside websites that you need your parents or fans to know about, um, this is where you would add that information. Again, just click add links in the upper right hand corner, put the name of the site in the link description, and then the URL of the outside website, and then you can hit submit. Camps and clinics, if you guys have, you know, if your basketball team is going to a summer camp this summer and you want them to know about it, this is where you could add that information. Just click add camps and clinics, add the camp title, camp description. Um, if they have, you know, like a sign up form or a physical form that they need to fill out, you can choose the file right there and then upload it for them. You can also post on the individual team pages as well. When you're done, hit submit at the bottom. General photo gallery. So this is where you can just post like a general photo gallery of any photos that you want to show on the home page, but don't necessarily um, tie into a specific team. Um, so again, you just click add a folder in the upper right hand corner um, and you could add your photos there. Videos, so this is the shortcut that I showed you earlier up here. If you plan on adding videos to your site, you can do so there. If you have a featured athlete um, that you would like to tell everybody about, you can just click add an athlete and then put any um, you know, students information in there if you have an athlete of the month or an MVP of the month. Contact page, so if you, you know, if you want people to contact you through the website, you can put up to three email addresses in this slot. Um, and whenever parents or fans, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see where it says contact us. Whenever they click on that, um, they'll have the ability to send you a message and it'll go to those three emails that we have um, on file. Site control. So if you do not want something showing on your page, let's just say, you know, you do not want the general photo gallery showing, you do not want email alerts showing, you can come into site control and simply turn it from live to hidden. Once you do that, you scroll down to the bottom and click update. Navigation. So this is where you can edit everything that you see on this bar right here. So let's just say that you wanted, um, you know, the NCAA info to be, you know, better for parents to see. You could actually drag that up on your bar and then hit publish changes and then click view fan site and it would be placed right there in its new location. If you want something hidden, let's just say you want the About Us hidden, simply click the Edit button next to that, click Hidden, and click Publish Changes. Social media, so if you guys have a Facebook and Twitter for your school, you can link those and they will show up at the top for the parents to click on um, and it will go right to your Facebook um, and Twitter for your school. Um, if you guys have a Twitter that you'd like to integrate, so what that means is just, you know, whenever you send out a tweet from this Twitter, it will show on the homepage. Um, so we highly recommend that you do not give an individual this access to the Twitter. Um, if you have like a school athletic Twitter, we highly recommend just giving it to them um, just because you cannot, you can't say, okay, I only want to tweet this, not this other tweet. Everything will show. Um, so just please use discretion in that. Third-party news articles. So these are the articles that show on the home page of your website. 
down at the bottom here. If you, you have the ability to turn these off. So as you can see, we are getting articles pulled in from um, Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. Um, you do have the ability to delete those articles. And then you actually have the ability to block news sources as well. So if you see that Bethesda Magazine is pulling up articles about your school that you do not like, simply hit exclude, scroll down to the bottom, hit submit, and then you'll never see news sources from that Bethesda mag Magazine again. You can also add your own local papers if you just click add news sources in the upper right hand corner. Um, alumni, if you guys have a big alumni network, this is where you can put news, photos, and events, Hall of Fame for all of those alumni. Um, custom pages, so this is where, for that navigation bar we were talking about earlier, you can actually add custom pages to that. So all you have to do is click add new page. If you wanted to put, you know, a custom page about a fundraiser you guys were having, you just simply put in that information there. And then you could put contact Peggy for more information at school. Once you're done with that, hit submit. And then what we're going to want to do is go back to general website, go back to your navigation bar, and then you'll see that the custom page we just created is right here. So we're going to actually want to drag that up, hit publish changes, and then we're going to view the fan site just to see that again. And as you can see, the fundraiser tab is right there. And you can see that contact Peggy for more information at school has been placed in there as well. So that is all of the information for um, the settings of your website. Um, I will now go over this briefly. So manage teams. Um, so for all of the Schedule Star users, you will be doing all of your scheduling within your Schedule Star. So you will not have the ability to schedule within big teams. Um, if you would like to edit the team page for your teams, that's where you would do that on big teams. Um, so let's just say that you wanted to edit the team page for uh, varsity baseball. All that you'd have to do is click view as team web admin next to it. And then you'd have the ability um, to change any of this on the team pages. Um, and as you can see, you will see all of the past seasons that you have. If for some reason you want to hide one season, you can click Manage Seasons on the left-hand side. Let's just say that you wanted to hide the Spring 2012 season. Click Edit next to that. For Season Status, choose Hidden and hit Submit. I'll go back to Coach Home. Um, roster, so this is where you can add the um, roster information for your boys varsity baseball team. You can import a roster. Um, if you have an Excel sheet with this exact header on it, um, you can just hit import roster and it'll import all of your students for you. Um, schedules, game summaries, and scores. So again, you will continue to do all of your scheduling within Schedule Star, but you do have the ability to put in game summaries and scores. Um, so you can put in scores right here. You can put in results. And then if you have game summaries, you just click this little button right here. And then you'd be able to put in that game summary. Headlines, so if you are a coach and need to tell your team something like, you know, quickly that practice is canceled today, you could put it in as a headline for the team. Practice is canceled today. Make sure you just copy it over to the body. You can also display the author's name so they know it's coming from the coach. Um, you can also show on the front page and then you'll want to send it as an email blast and then as an SMS blast as well. 
And then once you're done, just hit submit at the bottom. Team photo, so if you have a team photo for that team, you just put it in there. Um, coaches, if you want to assign coaches to that team um, and you know put in their email address and contact information for parents to see, this is where you would do that. Photos and videos, so if you have photos and videos that pertain to boys varsity baseball, this is where you'd add that information. News for the team, so if you have, you know, any, you can see that we have a lot of triad information for Richard Montgomery here. Um, we have, you know, JV practice is canceled today. Again, this is kind of just like headlines, but this is just a separate section to put this in. Files and links, so if you have files and links specific to the boys varsity baseball team, instead of just having it put on all of your website, um, this is where you could put that information. Again, with the camps and clinics, if you just have camps and clinics that will be specific to boys varsity baseball, um, this is where you can input that information. Along with Twitter, if you have a varsity baseball specific Twitter, um, that is where you can integrate that. Um, for these pages, you can also rename all of these pages. You can also make all of these pages um, hidden if you prefer. And that is really all there is about the team pages. Um, the last thing I will show you here, um, this red strip right here just means that Varsity Cross Country has been hidden from the public. If you'd like to hide another team, all you have to do is click Edit next to that team. Hide from public, yes. Update team. And then it'll bring you back to that home page and let you know that that has now been hidden from the public. Um, manage users, so this is where as the AD you will see a list of all of the users that you currently have on your big team site. If you need to add a new user, click add a user in the upper right hand corner, put in their first and last name, put in their username, And I'll just go ahead, and it has to be a pretty specific password um, for type of user. So um, you can either make him an athletic director and staff. So that means he will have access over the whole website. Um, for a journalist and a booster club member, they only have access over the booster view, which is what I'll show you later on. For a team website administrator, this is giving them access to only their team pages. So I'm going to go ahead and make him the team website administrator. So hit submit. And I'm going to make him the team website administrator over the lacrosse teams. So he will only have access to do um, things for la the lacrosse teams. So as I was saying with that journalist and booster view, you can see what view that they will have by just clicking on booster view. And this is all that they will have access to. Manage fan accounts. So this is where um, you can see all of the fans that have signed up to get um, alerts for their teams. Um, if you need to make any changes to your account, you just click my account and then you can um, reset your password here. Along with those fan accounts that I was telling you guys earlier, um, so whenever you have parents sign up for fan accounts, they will get alerts that games are changed. Um, they'll get alerts for the news for the team. Um, so you really want your parents to sign up for those fan accounts um, just so they'll know, you know, to <clears throat> stay in the loop and know what's going on. And if you, if you scroll back to your home page, so if you log into that administrator view, oops. you'll see up at the top here, your parents to join, they can hit join. 
and then they can sign up to get instant access to those fan accounts. So all that they'll have to do is just fill in all that information to become a fan. And then on the next page, they'll be able to um, pick what teams they want specific um, headlines and news for the team alerts for. Um, and then they'll have to go through that whole process of signing up for a fan. Um, we do have a fan flyer that we have created for you guys to send out for your parents. So if you want that, um, please just let us know and we can send that out to you guys. Um, they do have the option to get emails and SMS text messages as well. That is all we typically go over in the Big Teams webinar. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to send us an email over to support at bigteams.com.